All right, so today I'm going to show you how to turn absolutely anything into an SVG. So I have a blank workspace here and I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to add these hearts onto my workspace. I'm going to just center it a little bit and I'm going to go to edit. Now you can either go to edit or you can go to your apps section. And what you're looking for is the tracer app. Click on the tracer app and select your image. I already have it selected, um, but over here we have the option for the output mode to use black and white, or we can use the full color that is beta. We're gonna select black and white, and we're gonna click on the purple box to trace this image. And then we'll see the results right in here. So here is the result over here. And we're going to notice that there's an area just underneath that says threshold. So if we move this little uh, icon over to the left, it's going to get lighter. And so we'll see more transparent areas. That's what the white sections are. And if we move it to the left, it'll make more of the uh, element black. Uh, less transparent in behind. So I'm going to grab this slider and I'm going to move it up just a little bit because I do want to make it a little bit darker, more solid. And here is the result. So it's a little, a lot more solid with a little bit of white transparent areas on those hearts. I'm going to click the purple button that says add to design and I'm going to add it to design. And let's compare the two. Now, one thing to note about when we are converting elements to SVG, uh, SVG can't um, define grayscale or shading. So where we see that this area here is a lighter shade of red or more white, SVGs can't do that. It's either black or white. Now, what we will notice too is that now that we've added this uh, element to our workspace, it is an SVG. And we can now change the color of this SVG to hot pink. We can change it to uh, blue. We can change it to any color whatsoever. We can also apply special effects to this, like uh, shading if we wanted to. Uh, here, so we can add any one of these uh, shading uh, techniques. But once you do that, uh, this element will no longer be an SVG. Uh, because again, uh, S you can't maintain shading in an SVG. But what we can do is if you have that SVG on a workspace on its own page in Canva, uh, what we can do is we can maintain that SVG by going to share, download, and actually using the SVG option. So this is the only time that you are actually able to maintain that SVG property by saving an element that is already an SVG in Canva. So. That's pretty much it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. And if there's anything else that you want to see whatsoever, drop it down in the comments. All right. Bye for now.